it explains itself in the types of societies that were permitted in parts of the country. For instance, you had what was known as the New Orleans jazz. That was a certain, that was a different kind of jazz in New Orleans than it was in the Midwest. New Midwest had this jazz too. The eastern part of the country had its jazz too. In Atlanta, uh, being a musician, you basically, you were somebody uh, uh, in, in all of these different categories that we talked about uh, around Atlanta. You, you, at the time, you would go through, a, <coughs> through the, through the sh shanty town, and you would see these fine cars, and you would see pe people who do do uh, 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 the best they want. When they get through, they go to the locker, put on their fine clothes, get sharp, walk, walk out. I mean, that, that's where I feel with, with my horn. Yeah. I said, once I, once I walk out anywhere with my horn under my hand, I'm, I'm a different person. I ain't spook no more. I'm Mr. Spook. <laughs> It was a funny thing, as Mason and I came through high school under, he came through under Graham Jackson. And then I came through under Earl Stalin. Earl Stalin took his place. But the difference was that Graham Jackson knew what he was doing in every sense of the word, uh, could, could, uh, could actually dictate to you what he actually wanted. This was Graham Jackson, because he was musician, 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 musician. Yeah, now I started playing professional when I was 16 with a little rhythm and blues group, you know, with Tommy, Tommy Brown. And I just started playing jazz, I got with John. And that was it. the first job he had is that picture up there on the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. The weekends like Sundays in particular was dedicated for jazz, uh, preferably for our own entertainment and, 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 and enjoyment. So there were many jazz clubs around that we could go and perform in, but one in particular that stood out uh, was the Walter Hodge Ballroom. And it was a ballroom which attracted big name Entertainment. Al Hibbler was there. Um, Blues King, BB King was there. Um, Dinah Washington came down one time, and she was also a part of the the um, Wallahaji Club. Atlanta was a small town, but it was. A, it was a cultural town with all these schools here. And just to be a musician, oh man, you were you were somebody. Mm -hmm.